he were wearing the, the group chat just basically saying like James Gunn um has been going ham. You know what I'm saying? He basically cleared house with a lot of stuff. He mm-hmm. tweeted and said a lot of stuff is 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 real, a lot of stuff is kind of real, and a lot of stuff ain't true. But yeah. he trying to figure everything out. But um, uh, I mean, since we're already actually that actually was uh one of my um topics was James Gunn clearing house, you know. We talked about in the group chat. He cutting off Wonder Woman, no Superman. He just cut off Michael Keegan's Batman, the old Batman. He's changing everything up. You know what I'm saying? Man, he's clearing I, house with basically the Justice League. Like, I think he's just getting rid of that era because DC just been sorry. You know what I'm saying? And he's so probably used to that marvelous type style. Yeah. Like, bro, I'm tired of this, bro. Like, I'm t- y'all. If I'm gonna come. Be a part of y'all program. Y'all got to get rid of all this little cult, fake fan stuff because these fake DC fans swear they love DC, but then they don't show it to the movies. On the internet, they argue, but they don't show it to the movies. Yeah. The Black Adam, Black Adam, like really didn't make the amount of money he was supposed to make. Like really bad. Like, and 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 a lot of times actors come into the DC universe thinking they can make a difference and. Like, be different. He was like, this movie gonna be the movie. And, man, it wasn't. It wasn't it. And, and I like Black Adam. Because it was a good movie. I like Black Adam. So, Besides the the other characters, how I felt like they were just, like, current Marvel copycats. Like, I know Marvel is a lot Marvel. of characters that mirror. Yep. But besides those characters being mirror of current Marvel characters, I thought it was a good movie. It was one of the first movies that I felt like The Rock actually played a different character. He wasn't Facts. The Rock. Facts. Facts. So it's very... Ooh, Siri listening. <laughs> it, it's just... It's so odd that people didn't show up for it. Even, like, just off the strength of The Rock alone. Like, you say, like, they that means people just didn't even show up if it's a money thing. It's not even the fact that people didn't like it. It's the money. And it's crazy because, like, I told yep. my brother... I told Alf... I said, between Black Panther and Black Adam, if you want to spend your money on one movie, you better go see Black Adam. You can see Black Panther on Disney+. Plus. Hmm? Facts. I'm saying the IMAX. Oh, yeah, that too. So, that sucks about Black Adam. Nah, I I mean, that probably based more the decision why James Gunn, like, I gotta do something, because this ain't working. You know what I'm saying? Like, Peacemaker worked so he's already yeah. but suicide squad didn't work for us though we was like that was trash oh two was god awful oh, oh. my goodness it was trash James, oh. if that's what you plan on making don't uh he did suicide squad too man he made that dumpster booty movie man that's surprising that movie was Maybe he trash I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he ain't have full control of that. Cause That's what? Because I'm like peacemaker. I was like, do you really want to? Do you really want to chase it? So, baby, I'm losing ground. You know, Gaga, Gaga, Dot. She got online and tried to like, you know, her agent probably yeah. made her manager, her PR team, and she was like, I started this role three years ago. It's been a dream. She knew that was coming. She was like, "Cause like, please let me keep my job. Please let me keep man, my job." And Patty Jenkins and Wonder Woman three, no, because Wonder Woman eighty four. Remember that was like the first HBO Max um, experience, and it was terrible. That was the worst HBO Max experience ever. And see, what sucks about that is, I feel like Gal Gadot. I think she's great as Wonder Woman. Like. She's yeah. believable. Like I can believe that's who she is. Like she's beautiful. Like she fit. Could you try again? <laughs> she fits the the physique, the the beauty of what I would think Wonder Woman in real life would look like. So I feel like yeah, get rid of the director. Don't get rid of her and her character because she's Correct. good. Man, look at this con right here. Imagine Henry Cavill, who's Superman, leaving The Witcher, which he did, being replaced by other Hensworth. In the hopes that Superman will make a return. If I, that's like you literally like, bruh, hey, y'all, I'm about to quit this job. I know I got the other job, and you didn't even, yeah. get, you didn't even do orientation yet. They like, we're going to go with another candidate. We're going another direction. Sorry. Bro, he he's about to come back. He was like, nah, <laughs> you're not coming back, buddy. You're going back to the, wherever you want to go. And the thing is, he had an offer with Marvel. They said low-key. 
to play a character. My boy, my boy, you might want to give Kevin a call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you definitely ain't about to be Superman again. That's a no no. So, do you feel like the change that James Gunn bringing is it going to make DC better? Or do you think it's going to? Because a lot of fans are already saying online, cancel him already. They, they're they losing their mind. They lose their mind. They're like, man, he doing, we want Superman. Shut up. You know what I'm saying? We don't want Snyder's cut was cool, but we need to move on from these characters, bruh. But I guess it's like, okay, wait, before, well, let me say this and then I'll ask my question. I, and when you said like the move on from these characters, like, I don't, I, I don't know. The, 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 the actors, these actors. So not the characters themselves. Yeah, like the actors, the story, scrap that, James. Because look, Aquaman, they about to scrap Aquaman too. He about to come a, become another character. In the DC universe, he hitting the Chris Evans. It can be done. Chris Evans was. I wasn't going to say it can't. It can't be done. That wasn't where I was going. I know I saw somebody tweet that, and I didn't know the context. Yeah, but, okay. on Fantastic Four, he was. He yeah, was and he's he's a much better cap than he was. Ah, uh, that's a good debate. That's you think a, he was a better? What's what's the Human Torch? Yeah, debate. Cap made him, but he was a good Johnny Torch. I can. He was. The best Johnny Torch I saw from the Fantastic Four films they made. Chris, who was the other one? Michael B. Jordan. Was he the other one? <laughs> <laughs> of course, he's better. Of, of course, course he was better. Of course, the worst uh, uh, Human Torch was him. But okay, yeah. so I guess this could lead into my question before yeah. I say the thing about scrapping characters. Okay. They're keeping the Flash movie. See, if James Gunn keeps the Flash, that's when I got to question you, my dog. You know what I'm saying? Because something is wrong with that that person. With that, that guy. You feel that me? That person. So, <laughs> if he if he keeps that movie, then I'm going to start scratching my head like, yeah. okay. And I can't, I can't support someone who would keep, who would let somebody like the that, person, Ezra that Miller. Thing. Yeah. The, and I'm gonna keep it real. That, that someone who bitch, will let that, Ezra Miller get that, a paycheck. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real. That bitch ass nigga you kill. Like he's a bitch. But uh, why would they use a an awful person like that as the reset? Said, he, bro, in, he, in real life, he's awful. Like bro, not a good reset dude. with Peacemaker. Peacemaker season two should be the reset. Get this nigga out of here. But, but you gotta realize he worked with him on Peacemaker. Remember, he was at the end. Spoiler. Oh! Tom only saw like two episodes of Peacemaker. Oh my I god. I don't even remember that happening. Ooh. So, yeah, don't uh, even talk about spoiler, it. Spoiler alert. No, don't worry about that, Tom. I, like, obviously, I'm not as invested into like the Justice League as I was into the Avengers. But yeah. I feel like you need core characters that don't go anywhere because now with the Avengers gone out of Marvel, I kind of feel like we're just like, it's no direction. Like there's like, how we talked about before how like Tony Stark was like that middle ground person. Mm -hmm. We don't have that in DC. No, no, not at all. If, not if, all. if they're going the way, cause usually Superman is supposed to be that person or even Batman, you could say that they're that person. But that, if you take those people away, no, you're just I'm, left with no direction. But they're about to, that's why I said they're taking them away so he can redo Get new actors to do it, new stories. He might use the same actors. He just might change the directors. The you know line of it, he might yeah. just change how it's gonna go so it could be connected because it's all over the place. DC is literally all over the place. Yeah, damn everything. It just like it's all over the place. And I can't focus on um on, 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 on like you said, like the Avengers, it has a direction, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's no direction, and I think James Gunn. They brought him in because he has direction since he knows he's been around direction. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, um, Lex, so do we say DC going to have a good year or nah? Honestly, if I had to like, mm. but okay, Rowan, what's coming out for DC, DC next year? Uh, I'm, they're not, they keep everything close. You know what I'm saying? So. Then no, I can't speak on that. Like I can look at Marvel and what Marvel has. Playing, I mean, two, start that off with the year, then let's go. 
We'll no, play. Shazam. Shazam coming out. Um, I, it might be a Peacemaker too. I can see that. Something called Beetle, the Beetle Bug. Uh, oh with, yeah, I did see that stuff. You're you, right, you right. boy. <laughs> but I mean, besides Shazam, like even like the whole Beetle thing, like I don't. Besides oh, Shazam, so I'm not really looking game. forward to anything. He's in the game, game or Injustice. He's a playable character. Like I learn stuff through games and little stuff like that. So that's how right. I find about him. But I I can't speak on that. I can speak on Marvel and say I'm. Here we go. I didn't like Aquaman one. So, I but I, I thought it was boring. Remember, I kept falling asleep on it. Yeah, you did. It was but very boring. Closing out, you just have no. Uh, he all right. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. So closing out, just with the the James Gunn thing. Still though, do you have confidence that he can push DC forward from the stuff he's done, which is Guardians, you know, all that type of stuff. Being as though he's not going to be like the actual director of every movie, um, I can't say. Like, just because you're in charge, like, it's still not going to have James Gunn's signature stuff on it. And that, that would be an issue, too, if every movie coming out looked like a James Gunn film with the the, the funky music and, like, the certain type direct, but, what, but what if he gets people that's like-minded like him, not like him, but directors that are like him? You know what I'm saying, but not not what he does, replicating what he does. But just good, at, good, but directors. good directors. You know what I'm saying. He could be the Kevin Feige of their of their universe, right? You know, right. Just because he knows how to do it. But I agree. Well, with Kevin you. Feige has been picking ass baskets with the last couple of because things. Because Disney is running everything. He's not running anything. That's what I'm telling you. They're letting James Gunn do what he wants to do. Oh, okay. Then, that's, yeah. That's, I have that's faith in him. I guess him as a who he is, yes, I have faith. But like I say, it comes down to the actual directors. Like you can find great directors and they can still end up with a shit ass movie. True. So we got to talk about this, man. This is probably the biggest thing right now that we need to talk about. You know what I'm saying? 